This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. I'm Lockout Men, and I present to you another MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. We're back with a new episode of Company Calls. In this episode, we're continuing to find out their drug screening process and if they accept SAP drivers. If this is something that's interest to you, make sure you stay tuned. What are you guys specifically looking for as the mentorship? At what does least, it specify? Uh, six months of recent verifiable experience and beyond that, uh, the skills you bring to the table. Um, we're looking for folks that's willing to go on the road for anywhere from three to four weeks at a time. You'll be home three to four days at a time. Um, you're taking on new uh, drivers and experienced drivers that's coming out of our school. Or some of them are just coming with their license in hand and no experience to back. Um, you would take them on the road. Uh, basically, you're getting paid all the miles the truck runs. Um, stop pay, everything comes to you. Uh, you would get a monthly bonus of three cents per mile for the safe and on-time bonus for all the miles you've ran. Um, in addition to collecting that, you also get an upgrade bonus. So every time somebody upgrades from their truck into from your truck into their own truck, you would also get a uh, hundred dollar bonus for that. But um, the first guy that does that for you, you will get a thousand dollars. Um, when you come in, we got to certify you. We got, you know, the job is simple. We got to make sure that you're able to drive in accordance to state and local laws. But as per CR England rules and terms and conditions, we got to make sure you know that. So when you come into orientation that first week, we'll give you a certification course that we pay you three hundred and twenty-five dollars to do. Then after that, orientation is all set and done. You go out, you do one full run on your own. Well, you go out for like a week and do a couple of runs. Um, now we know you're good. Everything is fantastic. Then we move right into now you, got, you will take your first guy and hit the road. You have to observe them to make sure that they're good for the road. After that, you run for as a team for a little bit. And once that's all said and done, then, you know, the guy come in, pass the road evaluation, and then boom. Bob's your uncle. That's it. Okay, side question. I, I've seen some videos out here that you guys have a three bunk trucks. How would a, a mentor such as myself, if I decide to come that route, would that increase my pay or what would be the benefits of a three bunk a truck training? Well, the three bunk truck training, I mean, we don't do that as much per se. Uh, it's just an idea of how, to give you an idea of the caliber of company you're coming to work with. Only a few companies was allowed to do that at the time. Special permission from the government. It's a special truck that we have designed for us and maybe two other companies in the United States. Um, we don't do that anymore, though. Uh, Everybody is just taking one student at a time as we go. That's why, hence the reason why we increase the, uh, you know, they increase the amount of mentors we need. The average mentor, believe it or not, I mean, a six month mentor could average uh, about 1700 a week, and the top performing mentors could be all the way up to. 2300 a week. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Absolutely not, sir. Onboarding for the drug screening? What is it? Urine, hair follicles, or We both? do a two-part hair follicle. We do a, we do a two-part drug test. Hair follicle and uh, hair follicle and the regular DOT drug test. Uh, if you ever had failed the drug test, though, in the past, you would have to go through another program where somebody can, you know, a company can accept that. Right now, we're not um, set up to take anybody that's on uh, that program or who have failed the drug test in the past. How much experience do you guys require? At least six months. During onboarding for drug screening, do you guys do urine or hair follicles or both? Uh, we contract with independent clinics. So um, we don't do anything on site. Whatever method the clinic uses is, is what we do. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Uh, no, we don't uh, unless you're positive or your refusal is at least 10 years old. How much experience do you guys require? Um, we require two years of experience over the road. 
All right. For drivers to get into car hauling. This will probably be my first time doing something like that. Would I be trained? And if so, would I be paid for it while I'm being trained? So the requirement, yes. Yeah, so we get about 50 applications. We only select six drivers. So the criteria is we're looking for a clean CDL class A. Um, hopefully no violations or other safety concerns, two years of OTR, and you must live close to our terminal, either in Jacksonville, Florida, or Commerce, Georgia. I'm not sure where you live, but that is, you know, those restrictions are for the home. Um, it exists. Onboarding process, the drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? I think we do just urine tests. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? Only if the program has been fully completed. How much experience do you guys require? Uh, at the moment, we need at least two years of experience over the road. Our onboarding process, the drug screening, is it urine or hair follicles or both? Uh, it's urine. Do you guys accept SAP drivers? No, not at the moment. I'm sorry. All right. Let's talk about uh, Southland out of Boonesville, North Carolina. Got a hold of the recruiter to give us some good information for you guys. The amount of experience that they need for you to drive for them is about two years of over the road tractor trailer, 53 foot trailer experience out there to get with them. Do they accept SAP drivers? Unfortunately, no. They don't take SAP drivers. It has to be completed after five years. And their onboarding for drug screening is both. It could be both, either urine or hair follicles. So if you guys are interested in Southland Transportation out of Boonville, North Carolina, you guys could give them a call at 336 Three six seven four seven six seven. All right, there you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call Channel. Who's next? next.